Hello, so it's great to have um, all those wonderful Sargas and Seascapes pictures out on show again. And um, we're in the Warehead Gallery um, in Dunblane, um, which is great actually because um, Warehead were one of our crowd funders that helped us take um, Sargas and Seascapes to Edinburgh. Um, they're a uh, um, refill shop, so you can come here and do your shopping as well downstairs. But they also have this absolutely gorgeous gallery upstairs, which um, Ola and I are really excited to bring our paintings to. Um, so I'm just going to give you a quick swizz around um, so that you can see what Ola has got on show here. So over in the far corner of the gallery is where we have the sagas and seascapes pictures and we're looking at the moment at Carry His Relics which was inspired by Gemma McGregor's piece of the same name. It really depicts the uh, Einhallow Sound up in the north end of Orkney mainland looking across um, the coast um, to a place where Magnus would have known well and where he sailed through. Um, and then just over here to the left, we have all those pictures that were inspired by Linda Buckley's Ord. Ord was um, a character from the Icelandic sagas who travelled through the Orkney Islands um, on her way up to Iceland where she was one of the early settlers. And Linda's piece is amazing, it just um, really has the energy of, of that journey and the kind of yearning of being on the sea and travelling to new lands. And over on the other wall in this corner, we've got um, El Swen, which was inspired by um, Lily Harris's piece of the same name. And you can see the hills of Hoy, um, one of the Orkney Islands. I just love how that light kind of streams through. And if you look, you can see all the shadowy figures of the past, um, which is something that Lily tries to get across in her music. So one of the things I really love in this exhibition um, is that Orla's included her sketchbooks which gives a really interesting insight into her processes. Um, it's the first time actually that I'd seen the Sagas and Seascapes sketchbook um, and yeah it's really fascinating for me just to um, look through this and um, see some of the processes from where, when Orla was making the work with us over in Orkney. Um, I found it quite emotional actually, um, looking at some of the material in this sketchbook um, and just seeing somebody else's perspective on the project, I guess. So we just have a little delve into this. We've got the Standing Stones of Stenness, um, which um, you'll remember were in um, Lily's picture. Um, which includes diary entries too, which I think is really fascinating actually. It gives a real insight into the emotion she feels um, as she visits these sites. So these are the um, pages I find particularly fascinating um, when Orla was just brainstorming for um, each of the pieces of music. She's got a couple of sketches which maybe came into a composition of the paintings. And then Orla's mind map on um, Carrier's Relics. Um, yeah, just the idea of underlaying music into the picture. I love that actually. There's actually snippets of music actually in the painting. The idea of the St Magnus Way comes into um, Gemma's piece. So we've got the symbol of the St Magnus Way here, which actually does come into the painting. Yeah, all are thinking about what is a path, um, what kind of line quality would you have for that path. The ideas of repetition, which comes into music as well, um, and of, of movement too. Um, so yeah, really interesting to see how these initial lines made their way into the painting. This painting was done with money that we raised from our crowdfunder and made its first appearance um, in Edinburgh when we were part of the Made in Scotland showcase. And it depicts the story of the seal woman, which is a common legend across the North Atlantic. And it accompanied the music of Faroese composer Ellie Towson Aulava. So there we go, that's a quick um, whistle stop tour of this beautiful exhibition in this really nice space. Um, I do hope that you'll find time to come over to Dunblane and um, enjoy these pictures. There's also work for sale, um, it's a few prints and um, original paintings on paper. And um, if you enjoyed this exhibition, Ola also has an exhibition coming up at the Toll Booth in Stirling. We'll be producing a CD with Nordic Viola, which will include some of these works that you see on the wall, the, the original compositions from these works. Um, and all of you will be doing our sleeve design for that. So um, do pop along, um, enjoy the, everything that Dunblane has to offer. Um, got our beautiful cathedral and do your shopping in my head.